Hello everyone, uh, this is Vidya Arun here. Uh, I'm a Deloitte Consulting Leader, uh, but when I joined 19 years back, I was a consultant and it was a long way and never looked back uh, based on the amount of support I have got in, in, in walking all my career. So when I look back how India was and how it is now, I'm very excited to tell you that we have come a long way in our journey. When we started our careers, uh, women's career is not looked as an option. It is just there if they want to pursue along with their responsibilities at home. And which is one of the reason the science streams or the STEM uh, education was not encouraged or, you know, it's not discouraged either, but it is okay to have that. But now when I go to the recruitment into the campus, it is so heartwarming to see almost 40 to 50% of the students are women. And that did happen by just by chance, right? It is because generations of families and uh, fathers, mothers put an effort to educate their own daughters on par with their sons so that they can pursue it as a career option. So, and I think the events like this, which actually bring out the best in the women professionals is absolutely must. And I congratulate all the organizers for organizing this across and I'm happy to be participating in this event. Uh, and also just to give some context uh, behind this. When we started our career, organizations did not understand the importance of diversity, whether it is a gender or otherwise. Now, diversity is not just about getting X percentage of gender into the workforce. It is about how do we bring the diverse idea to the table. If everyone around us are from a similar background, have been upbringing the same way, probably they'll think the same way. But unless we hear the different points of view, we may not even know what is in its store or what is the right decision to take. So diversity is important for a business. It's just not about organization internal looking initiative. And the good thing is many of the organizations now have programs to include diversity as a part of their tech culture or the workforce, whether talent related the policies are framed where, you know, it is supportive of those who wanted to have a child bearing, for example, you know, giving subsidies for the play school uh, or, you know, helping the women take a longer leave or work from home or whatever it is. Every organizations are trying to find the balance between how we support the workforce, which are extremely talented and have the will to do things. They just need that uh, environment where they can be groomed to the next level. Uh, I think tech industry as such is the first to uh, start this process. I, I don't think any other industries have done that. But now looking at how successful tech industry is, is in terms of grooming their women's workforce, other industries are taking a cue and understanding why it is important and following the uh, the path. So we are all pioneers and we should be very proud to be in the industries which are pioneer in this uh, in this area. So I conclude just few pointers to all of you based on my experience. One is this is your career and you need to own it. Yes, there will be times where you will have to decide which is uh, most important at that specific time, which is a work or at home and you need it to cater to that and you have to maintain a fine balance. You can never be one-sided ways. Second is, you have to set aside time to learn for yourself. But this is an industry where things are evolving very fast and what you know now may not be relevant after five years, which means every single time you need to spend time for yourself to upgrade your skills, to keep, uh, uh, to have a work life or well-being into consideration it is not just about family, it is just not about the work, it is also about you, you know, how you are spending time to grow yourself. Open to challenges, you know, there will be times where you'll be thrown into something which you are not comfortable, out of your comfort zone, never done that before. But those are the opportunities for you to grow because that is when you'll start realizing what are the hidden talent or skills that you have. Uh, so be very open to those and be open to have a feedback. So. During the journey, we all will have to learn some things. We have to unlearn some things. Be open to seek feedback and understand where the feedback is coming and try to improve on them. And yes, there will be different feedbacks from different people, but then they'll all be looking at us uh, individual, right? For example, 
I could be a different as a mother or a sister or a daughter or you know or a boss or a friend. So all of us will be looked by others in a different aspects based on our roles, and whatever conversations or uh, or the feedback they give, please take it and be prepared to learn from your juniors. You know, always the juniors are smarter than you. You can't keep up with everything that is happening, and being open to learn from others will help you move to learn to take it a long way because. that means what you can read in one hour probably someone can explain you in half an hour or 10 minutes right uh, so that is one more and then understand it is all about support structure you need to help support others and they are going to help and support you your colleagues are going to be there with you for 8 to 10 hours on an average which means you are going to learn a lot from them so invest yourself in building the relationships look around for sponsorships seek opportunities and then grow in your career so with that uh, i will uh, now conclude my few thoughts and congratulate all of you and all the very best and if i, I would be very happy to see you or meet you somewhere in future and look forward to see each and every one of you become your future leaders where our next generation will look up to you and aspire to be one like you with that thank you